welcome back to our channel today we are going to demonstrate the speed control or how to start the prime mover of an alternator or speed control of an dc shunt motor so here you have two windings one is nothing but this is called field winding and this is called armature winding to start it we are going to start this dc motor with the help of an three point starter here l is called line a is called armature and z is called field winding what should be the positions of the your stacks now we will try to understand so coming to here actually armature winding so this is the armature winding you see the gauge we have been connected in armature the maximum current is flowing is how much 20 amperes so in this wire 20 amperes current has to flow that's why we are using a thick wire but in the case of a field how much amount of current is flowing 1 ampere that's why and we have been segregated as a black color where less amount of current is flowing okay now in which position we have to keep the field eostat and what should be the position of armature eostat so you can see here so when you come to the armature winding so so current i is equal to v by r but actually the armature current initially it has to take low amount of current if the current should be low means you have to keep the eostat in maximum position so this is the starting condition so this will be the starting condition and this will be the running condition at starting we have to keep so this is the input of the armature rheostat we have kept the input here and we are taking the output and what should be the position of the rheostat r maximum if resistance is maximum then minimum current will flow into the armature then automatically slowly it will start so this is the initial condition coming to the running condition so slowly what we have to do is so from maximum position we have to bring it to the minimum as soon as you bring it to the minimum what happens is resistance is minimum okay so now resistance becomes minimum and automatically current becomes maximum then it can start better okay so that is how to positions of an armature so this is the exact position of an armature rheostat so coming to the next one so what is the position or how to adjust this we'll discuss now okay next one is field so field actually we need to have higher amount of current to flow why because the current is very very minimum okay this current has to flow so maximum current has to flow if the maximum current has to flow we have to keep the rheostat in which position minimum position so that's why you are keeping so the formula for i is equal to v by r so here the maximum current has to flow so that's why we are going to keep the field rheostat in minimum resistance therefore the maximum current flows okay so now we are keeping the field rheostat you see here so field current is very minimum that's why thick wire this is the input and this is the output and we have been kept in minimum position okay in this minimum position what happens is so resistance is minimum maximum current will flow into the field winding so coming to the positions of an rheostat this is very simple how to keep it in minimum position as well as the maximum position that we'll see in the next video now let us try to see how to start this motor okay so before you do the experiments here all are bare conductors so better you have to follow the safety rules before you start the experiment okay so how to start is so already the connections has been given to this prime over so here this dc motor is acting like an prime over now we have to use this dc motor as a prime over and we have to generate the supply in the alternator see here the procedure of starting is so already i told this field rheostat should be in minimum position and armature should be in maximum but the three point starter cannot will hold the series resistance that's why in minimum position i, I mean i am keeping in moderate position that's a way that the motor can start comfortably okay let us uh, try to see here so first give the supply as soon as you give them the supply the dc motor will not start we are going to start it with the help of an three point starter see here I am slowly exiting. You see here the behavior of the DC motor. It is very very silent. Why it is very silent? So if you keep this in maximum resistance position, you see the behavior of the motor slowly it starts. Okay, so it's very 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 slow. Okay, so now we are slowly varying the armature resistance. Automatically, the required amount of current will be supplied to the armature and automatically the vehicle i mean uh, the motor speed will increase you can see here the motor speed is gradually increasing okay if you want to verify you can see here so this is the initial position you see here we are trying to keep this in initial position in initial position the speed is very very minimum 
okay so you can see here the speed is only 1000 rpm now slowly we want to increase the speed okay so now by using this one winding so by using uh, this winding slowly we are increasing the speed of the vehicle a uh, speed of the motor and automatically by adjusting this armature eostat uh, we can get the required speed so now we can check the speed of the motor okay so you can see here it has reached around 1430 rpm that's how to start an motor and next method is also possible so actually we have to keep this in this position okay so now this is hot about electrical engineering how to play a game with an uh, speed control of a motor okay so now coming to the field winding so this is nothing but the field winding so this field winding is in which position minimum so now as soon as you increase the field winding you see here so now slowly i am moving it from minimum to maximum as soon as i move from minimum to maximum the speed of the prime or also is also increasing okay so when you go to the maximum position it the speed gets increased okay but complete control we have to keep this in minimum then only the required 1 uh, ampere current will flow but armature maximum is dropped here so that's why we have to keep this to the minimum automatically the speed pickups this is what called as uh, the speed control of an uh, dc shunt motor okay so this all are not separately excited all these are the category of self excited and how to start an dc shunt motor so bring to the original so when you bring to the original the speed is minimum this is the proper way of turning of an motor first remove the supply automatically the brake i mean the three point starter comes to the initial condition this is how to start the prime mover of any alternator it may be for electric vehicle or it may be for any appliances this is the proper way of starting an a dc motor now let's try to see how this has an variable speed so this dc motor is having two parts so one is this is the stator part and this is the rotor part okay this stator is made up of field winding and this rotor is made up of armature winding but in the case of an alternator reverse of a dc motor is nothing but an alternator so this rotor is made up of field winding and the stator is made up of armature winding automatically an emf will be produced in the armature that will be available across ryb of an alternator so hope you are able to understand how to use a permanent magnet synchronous motor or an alternator in the electric vehicle applications okay so this uh, alternators are also used in electric vehicle applications in the regenerative mode of operation okay so you may get confused why because here it is acts like an alternator in one case the same motor also will act like an synchronous motor depending upon the input you give it okay so if you give the mechanical input and if you excite the field or permanent magnet if you use the emf is generated if you give the supply to the field winding as well as to the armature winding this will act like an uh, this will act like an generator sorry this will act like an uh, motor so when you give the supply to the rotor and when you give the supply to the stator this will act like an synchronous motor in normal accelerating mode in deaccelerating mode so input will be given i mean uh, the rotor will be freely rotating why because the vehicle is deaccelerating and already the rotor is of an electromagnet or permanent magnet in this case the emf will be generated hope you are able to understand about how to operate the alternator as an dc motor as well as an generator in electric vehicle applications thank you for watching